think twice. Well, hello, everyone. It's great to be back. My name is Caleb Turner, and I'm going to be giving my demonstrative speech today on how to properly tie a tie knot using four different methods. The Van Wyck knot, the four and a hand knot, the Onassis knot, and finally the double Windsor. It seems like every time in a young man's life, there will come a time in which he has to tie a, a, tie, a tie for a special event or occasion or business meeting. And by having the proper knot, he can start great conversations and enhance his tie's appearance. In the four knots that I will be showing you today, the first one being the four in hand, I'm going to show you how you can have a great tie knot that will enhance your appearance that will enhance your appearance and fit your occasion. Now my first knot is going to be the four and a hand, and the four and a hand knot is actually a, one of the most simple knots I'm going to be tying today. It's asymmetrical and it goes well with about any shirts. And when you're tying this knot, you can be liberal with the little end here and bring it down fairly low. Now, I'm going to start this by taking my wider end and putting it over my over the little end and then bringing it back and thereby pinching the tie. And then once I do that, I'm going to bring it I'm going to bring it around to form a little knot and wrap it only to bring it back up. And once I do that, I'm going to loosen up the knot and bring the tie through it and thereby having this four and a hand tie. As you notice, it's of appropriate length. It's not up here, nor is it down there. It's right at the waistline. Now, the second tie knot that I will be giving will all, is called the Onassis knot. The Onassis knot is also another simple knot because it, <clears throat> it, is quite, it is quite easy when you are formulating the piece, but it does require more length, so the little end will be brought up a lot higher. Now, once I bring up this little end, what's going to happen is I'm going to take the bigger end and again wrap it around, much like when I'm starting the four and a hand knot, and bring it back and pinch the wider end just the same way, but I'm going to bring it out this way, and then once I do that, I'm going to bring it back in to form a triangular piece. Now, this triangular piece is a very important because that means that the knot is symmetrical and so on and so forth, and you're going to use your wider end to wrap it around, and then you're going to bring it back, and then it, you're just going to lay it down. Now this knot is pretty cool because it doesn't even look like a knot. And on top of that, if you're wearing a tie with unique patterns and collars, it could be complete, it's completely fluent and not broken up by different knots. So it's, it's just flat and it doesn't even look like you have a knot at all. Now the third knot that I'm going to be tying is called the double Windsor knot. This is the one that I have tied that I tie most frequently, and I use it for all events because it's very good for all events. And with this one, it's in many cases tying the exact same way as you do with your Onassis knot. What you're going to do is you're going to bring your the, the little end up higher, and you're going to take it, take the big end and wrap it and wrap it around, pinch the wide end, much like we're doing the Onassis knot. Bring it up through here to get that triangular piece. And when you get that triangular piece, what you're going to do is you're going to wrap it around. And instead of just, in, and then also bring it back up. But it's, unlike the Onassis knot, instead of just letting it flop down, what we're going to do is we're just going to loosen up the hole and bring it through here, thus giving us our double Windsor knot. And then finally, the fourth knot I'll be tying today is the most complicated of all knots. It is called the Van Wyck knot. The Van Wyck knot is very, very complicated and very time-consuming, and it is a cylindrical knot that requires three layers. Now, because of this, you're going to want your, the little end up way high because it is a hungry knot that requires a lot of feeding. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take the big knot and you're going to wrap it around, and then you're going to bring it back 
again, pinching it like we've done before, and then you're going to lay your finger down, and you're going to use your finger and wrap the tie around three times. The big end will be wrapped around three times. Now, once you accomplish that, you want to take your left finger and put it up there because you're going to need this to bring it back through here as a way of tightening that knot up. And then you're just going to take this and bring it through the hole. It's going to be a little tough because you got all that material to go through, but it is worth it. And in the end, you do get a cylindrical knot. You may have to doctor it up so you can get those three layers showing. But, and when you do, you have the Van Wick knot. These are just four examples of how you can enhance your tie's appearance and start conversations. If you want any more information, please go to Shirts My Way, where Peter Crawford and Michael Yang have, writ have written a good piece on 30 ways to tie a tie that every man should know. Thank you, and have a great day.